<laughs> this might be the biggest mess you've ever seen. Uh, I started off with a other project, but uh, I ended up making um, something I wanted to make a long time ago. But you know, this is my workbench. Just a workbench, you know, not messy at all. But uh, that's not the the story. <laughs> really, if I'm when I'm busy, I cannot like keep it clean. Because far often I just want to test something real quick. Real quick is the thing that makes me uh, make such a mess. Because I can clean it and it works nicer, I know, but far often it's just I want to see if this works uh, and I'll make another one if it, if it does. For instance, this is one of the older um, panels I made in a video, I think, with the, with the popsicle sticks. <laughs> Uh, uh, I kept it apparently uh, and I wanted to test something real quick um, and I'll explain in another video I I'll probably make like a proper video about it because it's quite interesting it uses um, two step up uh, voltage voltage step up uh, thingies Cockcroft Walton multipliers which is not completely true because it's not multiplying it actually it is just adding the same voltage mm, no that's not true either but it's not a multiplier it's not actually multiplying um, I think I could even put more out of this I use a class D amplifier to uh, amplify the whole thing and I use a this should not be there, or it's not needed. Uh, a very big transformer, 1 to 120. But uh, the goal is actually to make it possible to use cheap transformers with not too high step-up ratio for this purpose. Because I only want to make a tweeter, and I'll explain maybe later on. Uh, because ESLs do sound the best in the end, but this is something different of course, because otherwise it wouldn't be interesting. It is an inverted ESL and I just like cobbled it together like real quick and um, so it's dirty, it's ugly, uh, there's much to gain. Uh, I'm still not completely sure out, uh, about how it works, I mean I've tried stuff uh, that is from the patents and such and it worked kind of shitty so I had to adjust some things and it worked better for instance there are normally uh, resistors in series with uh, the high voltage like 10 meg but it's not working for me it's like the whole, all my efficiency is gone so either um, the adapter there that feeds the whole thing it's not capable of delivering the amount of current. Uh, I don't know, it might be true. I will try it again with the Mac, uh, 10 Mac uh, resistors in series because it's a little bit more safe. Not that you die from this, but it's a very unpleasant shock, I can uh, tell you that. Also, um, I'm feeding it 12 volts. And this one is uh, stepping it up uh, to 700 volt. And then you got like 700, 1400, 2100, sort of, I think. I think that's it, yeah. 2100? I might want to go a little bit higher than that. Well, we'll see. Anyhow, I'm not even sure if it reaches uh, 2100 because. Um, this adapter is not it's not very powerful. It doesn't have to supply much, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, it plays and it crackles as well because it's completely cobbled together. Very ugly. Very, very, very ugly. But uh, it's it's what I had like complete. I just added some low resistance coating on the foil so I could use it as an inverted ESL. Uh, let me see. 
So here it, it, it sounds, well it can play pr rather loud and that was actually the goal, get as much SPL out of the transformer. So hopefully I <coughs> can use this sort of setup without having a transformer of this size. I'll show you it right now at this size but uh, I can use a way much smaller transformer. I mean it's a class D amplifier of I believe 40 watts powering it and it's fed by a phone. Uh, you might know but if you feed music from a phone usually you will end up uh, having rather lowish sound. You, you know the output is not, not the greatest so in this case the same story. But here we go, it plays. thing to notice is uh, it is a bit shouty or more shouty than normal normally there's uh, a little bit more you know even more top end and I think it's uh, because I feed the audio signal to the membrane in this case uh, and the coating on it is low for a normal ESL but it's not insanely low so usually normally you will add like um, <clears throat> resistors of uh, several hundred K for instance to uh, get rid of some top end and uh, segment your panel and in this case the panel itself is you know like in the several K range so it might actually already be uh, filtering um, yeah so and that's not bad but um, normally if you have an ESL it's you know out of proportions amount of top end which is uh, nice but uh, well not usable but you filter it away but in this case uh, I think it lost some of that so but I ordered some aluminum foil with or aluminum foil some mylar with uh, well aluminum on it so the metalized thing so it's like a really thin layer and normally in normal ESL use I would not recommend it ever don't use this stuff ever 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 unless maybe if you want to make an uh, inverted ESL it might be of uh, good use uh, and you might even etch it the way you want it so that's what I'm gonna do of course at least try that's what I'm gonna try uh, but I'll explain the workings uh, later on it might not be a surprise for most but uh, I tried this before and somehow it didn't work, so I'm not sure yet. So you will have more high voltage supplies instead of having a more expensive transformer. That's actually kind of the story. I'm still not, it's not clear what is best, but it has some benefits. Yeah, you should be able to get away with a uh, cheaper transformer you could also make it a little bit more safe for the user because you cannot reach the membrane which has the lethal high voltage I mean the high voltage high voltage from this thing is not nice but it's not lethal the stuff coming from your amp 
done uh, through the transformer is kind of lethal or could be. So anyhow, see you later. Oh, and the thing I was testing, I'll show you later as well.